Okay, Yara Neguse likes to cut it close. We always know with you it's going to be close, but you've got the collegiate record, 738-13. Tell me about the race. Yeah, I mean, uh, we were coming in. That was what we were looking for. Um, you know, ho hopefully to go a little more under than that, but, you know, what happens, happens. And I'm still just glad to be able to get it at all because that was, you know, that's a record that's been around for so long, and honestly, I can see why because that was a really, really tough time. <laughs> yeah, I mean... How are you feeling when you hit the, you seem like you're on pace most of the way, like how are you feeling when you hit the mile? Yeah, I felt pretty good through the mile. Uh, I'd say I was pretty relaxed for most of it, and then you know, you get to like that kind of last K area. That's when things kind of start setting in, especially when you're out there by yourself. But um, I was able to push through and you know, and we'll just yeah, win it out in the end. <laughs> uh, now this, this record was set 18 years ago, so why do you think it stood for so long? I. <laughs> I mean, I'm just impressed that, you know, Alistair Craig, the guy who did it, did it like 18 years ago. Because, you know, now we're at a time where the sport's getting like so much better and so much faster. And it's just an awesome time to be in. And to run this time like 18 years ago, like when I was like four, that <laughs> just like, <laughs> just blows my mind. And, you know, I, I think I can see why, especially when you're doing it alone. It's just a, a tall order. Yeah. Well, I saw you were FaceTiming with him. What did he say to you? Yeah, he was, he was really happy that... Um, I was able to do it and just, uh, you know, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, from what I understand, there were some obstacles that sort of came into this record attempt. Can you tell me about them? Obstacles. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Um, I mean, going in, like, I had, like, COVID before this, like, earlier last week. So that was a whole thing. I didn't have it bad. I should be wearing my mask right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> and... And um, so that was kind of something to get over. Um, but I'm not like kind of person to kind of let those kinds of excuses just kind of bring you down. Cause you know, when you're in a race, it's really easy to think like, oh, I had this, I had that. But it's just about like overlooking those things and then, you know, winning out. So. Are you still able to train when you have COVID? Yes, my, my university does allow training while you have COVID, but you gotta do it by yourself. <laughs> yeah, but you were like, did, you, did it affect your preparation for this at all in terms of like taking days off? No, I mean, you know, like, a little more than a week out, there's not that much to be done for a race like this. You know, most of it's just relaxing. Um, but, yeah. And then, like, the the pacemaking today, I think originally there's supposed to be, like, there's talk that, like, there might be some more other pros in there, and then, you know, that didn't seem to happen. Like, were you stressed about that at all? That, 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 that. No, I mean, like, you know, in the end of the day, like, the pacers, the pacers were kind of close to what they needed to run. And I feel like if they were in that ballpark, then it was kind of up to me. It was going to be up to me no matter what they ran to just really like push it in as hard as I could. Yeah. And so, you know, I, I wasn't too stressed. There's not that much time to think in 3K anyway. So. I, I heard you flew in for this today. Was that difficult? <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> ah, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's just, you know, circumstance. You got to do what it takes to do what it takes. And right. today that was flying in today. So. <laughs> and what's the, what's the plan for you at NCAAs? Uh, well, we're still figuring it out right now, uh, but I definitely obviously want to do the DMR, and then we're kind of seeing between the mile and 3K, just kind of seeing you know, what I'm really feeling going into that postseason. Yeah. All right. And you, I guess you have conference in a couple weeks. Is that your next race? Or, yeah. Or yeah. Alex Wilson is next. Oh, DMR then? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then conference. How's, how's the team looking for the DMR? Like, do you think you guys can, how fast do you think you can run for that? <laughs> I, I, won't, I won't give anything away because I don't want to set any expectations, but <laughs> I think it'll be pretty fast. I'm pretty pumped for it. Yeah, well, they got you, and then Sam, Sam Bowles is still around, Olympic yeah. trials finalist. I mean, people yeah. start doing the math. Yeah. I think you can see something pretty quick. All the pieces are there, so, you know, we're, yeah. I think we're in a good spot for it, for sure. Yeah, and what did you make of uh, Cole and Cooper's race last night? Did you see that? Yeah, so I was really bummed for them because I was really hoping that they could do it because if I want anyone to do it, it will either be like them or me. So, like, I knew they were so close and they were probably really wanting to do that. And so that was a really bummer to see. But, you know, hopefully once I go pro, or maybe they'll do it another time. I don't know. Um, I'll be able to help them with it because I'm just so used to breaking records now. It's terrible. It's yeah. great. <laughs> collegiate outdoor, collegiate indoor. But yeah. like, I feel like recent NCAA history, people who break records kind of get, they get beat at NCAAs. It usually happens in the mile. I mean, Haven't it happens you in the 1500s, yeah, so. yes. <laughs> Maybe it's, so. this is the time to end the course, Let's right? Go, I won't get too cocky about it. I won't let it get to my head. Well, <laughs> terrific run. Appreciate the time. Thank, Thank you, Yard.